I'm with the queen of retail, Faith Hope Consolo. Faith, how are you? And how are you? Good to see you. Thank you for coming to New York today. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. How do you think the show is going? Well, I think it's incredible. It's, this is probably the best attendance they've had. I've noticed that all the panels are full. And in fact, the one just before me, uh, the brokers who dominate, who I'm in the book, I, I mean, it was standing room only. I think this so is going to gonna set the platform. Good. You, well, you look great. Thank you, you look fabulous, as oh, always. You're very sweet. <laughs> well, retail is my detail. Oh, I love that. So how, how do you think the market's doing from your perspective? Well, the market has rebounded tremendously ever since the downturn. We had an incredible last year, and year to date, there are more new retail entrants to the New York City market than there's been in five years. Good to hear. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, we credit a lot that New York City is kind of insulated. We had 51 million tourists last year. We're expecting 53 by year end. So everybody comes here to shop, to dine, to sleep in the new hotels, <laughs> and if at all possible, to live here. Wouldn't, wouldn't we all be so lucky? So what are you looking forward to in 2013? I'm looking forward to expanding the market through the metro area. In fact, we're coming up to your part of town, to Boston. We're doing a lot of new retail there. We're in Boston now, Chicago, Miami, L.A., San Francisco, more places to visit. And I'm looking forward to a lot more niche retailers coming in the market. We're going back to very special stores and creators. And, of course, we're always looking to Europe because they always have the very sexy concepts, right. you know, from the guys who brought you Uniqlo and H&M and Zara and Topshop. I love I Zara. You did? First store in 1989. Oh my god, my mom and I swear by Zara. I don't want to tell Tracy, but I found them walking down the streets of Barcelona. <laughs> I went in and I said, you must be in New York, and the rest is history. But now they own many other labels, and right. we just opened a store with them on Fifth Avenue called Maximo Duty, which is a menswear. Yes, you're going to see a lot more of Sarah. And where else do you like? We'll tell you whether they're coming to New York. <laughs> lots of accessory stores, lots of new shoe stores, okay. a lot of children's stores. And then, of course, this year, we've had a lot of new restaurants, oh, a lot of women like chefs, hear. women chefs. Really? Yes, yes. And they're opening their own signature restaurants now. That's fantastic. You know, uh, fashion follows food. So when we want to change a neighborhood, we first bring in some niche food retailers. Your Panda Quotidian, your Panera Bread, and after that, we bring the shoes and the dresses and the jewelry. Well, who doesn't like to snack and shop? Snack and shop. I'm going to snack use that my shop. next report. Now, if you could use one word to describe your work environment, what would that be? Exciting. 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 Every day is different. And in fact, we're in the fastest changing.